Hey guys, Shave Cave here. Happy New Year's Eve, um, and welcome to Fabrication Fridays, Episode Six, Year End Review. I'm just gonna have um, showcase some of this uh, work by uh, again Roger Quinn, and then um, just feature some cool stuff, cool gear, have some thoughts, and then uh, end the shave. How y'all doing? Good. <clears throat> I'm doing really, really good. This year has been, oh my gosh, so hectic, so crazy, I can't even tell you guys. Um, just right off the bat, I want to say thank you for all my uh, likes and sub subscriptions and comments. And um, it, um, even though the year was rather tumultuous, um, I did end up meeting some really cool people and some cool artisans. And so it wasn't all that bad. So let's get started. I'm going to do some pre-shave with this glow cube. You guys see me use this. This is a simulated shower. Um, this does glow in the dark. This was one of my favorite things that came out from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, I love it. I bought two of these sticks and the cube. So, let's go ahead and generously apply this to the whiskers. This will uh, sort of pre or pre shave, pre soften the whiskers. All right, that's good enough. Yep, but I absolutely love this. Love the scent of clown fruit. This was awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. All right. So, Fabrication Fridays. Roger Quinn, three-piece. Actually, this is a two-piece. No, it's a three-piece. Three-piece. So, let me just activate this really quick. Get this going. Mm. Just love the scent of clown fruit, guys. Absolutely love it. Mm. Those upper whiskers. There we go. Oh man. A little more water. Mm. All right, cool. While that is setting, let's get into this razor. Mm. Nice. Okay. So how this works, this is a gem razor. Let me turn this down a bit. This is a gem razor, gem style. Uh, it has a cartridge where the blade and a cartridge fit together like, like this. Um, there's three different plates, as you can see. One in the blade, one in my hand, and then one right here. This is, uh, they're labeled A, B, C, and they are for um, varying thicknesses, essentially what Roger was telling me. And so we're going to start with plate A. And essentially, you you, uh, you put your gem blade on top like this. It fits in the little grooves. There's four points of contact. One, two, three, four. You can see that right there. One, two, three, four. So you need a relatively well-calibrated printer to do this, I would say. But most printers will, should handle this. I mean, Roger has designed it in a way where it's really easy to print. So as long as you follow the instructions. All right. So we're going to go ahead and shave with this. This has that gem in there. And um, this is the first time I'm shaving with it. So if all else fails, I will jump on to like a, uh, I don't know, Chevette or something like that. So this is awesome. I recently got this um, as a gift for my girlfriend. This is Holy Black's Almond Biscotti. That really cool label. You see that? Very, very cool. Um, this is part of their secret stash, and so um, it comes wrapped with this really cool little cellophane ring. Take that off there. All right, this is it. Almond Biscotti, brand new scent, released 2020. At least I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ooh, cool white. Oh my god, that smells so good. That's like a, um, like an almond cake or something like that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Holy black. There it is. Interesting. Very interesting. Mmm, holy black. I couldn't wait. I was I just had to use this. So we're gonna go ahead and lather this. I'm gonna rinse this off and then we'll just lather. Alright. Mm, nice. Alright. Alright, that's good enough. So how y'all doing good? Did you guys have a good year? Comment below. Anything good come out of the year? I mean, it's been a lot of, um, it's a lot of stuff this year has been, you guys know, but 
All right, so I've got my BBS Live mug here soaking, or yeah, BBS Live coffee mug, brush soaking 3D printed. This year, I started, uh, not only did I start camera shaving, but I also started designing my own equipment. So it's been an interesting year, it's an interesting year. And so um, I'm like that, those shaver Jedis who like craft their own hilt, you know, make their own sword or whatever. It's really, really, really cool. So let's go ahead and heat this brush up. Let's go ahead and empty out the throw this mug up here. Very, very cool mug. I love the guys. Nate and Melly. Very, very cool guys. Um, met Nate, met uh, Nate and Melly this year. Um, started watching BBS Live. Um, didn't really resonate with me um, at first, but then I started watching the show and you kind of have to be there and then, you know, the comments and all that kind of stuff. So, really, 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 really cool, guys. Really, really cool. All right, let's get started. I need a little bit more water than that. Sometimes I bloom these soaps, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, almond biscotti. Now I know holy black soaps, they kind of get a bad rap as far as lathering is concerned, but I've always thought that the holy black uh, scents are just wonderful. So I've been leaning more towards them, and um, one of the main issues that I've had with holy black in the past really is that just they sell out so fast. So it was really just getting access to the, to the um, soap pucks and I still have a hard time getting the aftershaves, so they do come out with splashes. I don't think they have alcohol in them, but they do come out with splashes. I just don't think that they, um, I just don't think that they just sell out so fast. Like, I'm serious. Like, we'll get a notification, and I'll go check out, you know, the secret stash aftershave or the splash section, and they literally sell out. So, I don't know. That's, I know that's kind of been an issue with, not not just them, but... You know, other artisans, but it's all good. It's all good. I I have that creeper, and so I have the Christmas set from last year, the spirit. It's all good. All right, that's a lot of soap. But you guys know this. It's a lot of soap. There it is. We're just gonna do um, for time purposes. We're just gonna do a, a quick shave with this really cool blade, and um, I'm gonna close it up. Man, but this year again, back to the year. It's just wow. This year. There's just too much to talk about, but man, it's, I'm glad this year's ending. I really am. It's, it's been a tough year for my family. It's been a tough year for my friends. It's been a tough year for a lot of people. And so thoughts and prayers to all of you. This year has been really, really tough. Really, really tough. All right. Secret stash. I'm just going to throw this up here. Almond biscotti. All right. Let's go ahead and heat up the brush. Start the lather. All right, all right, here we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Is this a different formula? I don't know. I don't think they're doing a formula change. Hey, all right. Mmm. Oh my god, this smells so good. Mmm. I just need a strong coffee now to go with it. All I'm doing now is I'm scrubbing to inject that um, oxygen and water. Get ready to whip it here soon. Mmm. Yep. Brought out the uh, Zaharoff boxes. Got the Signature, Pour Home, got the Noir, and Royale. Very, very cool. We're going to get into that Royale. Royale Shave Soap came out. I didn't get it this year because um, I'm just kind of tapped, but I am getting it for next year. So that soap is on it. It's inbound. All right, we're good. All right. We're in sync. Appreciate you all stopping by. Um, hope you all have a really, really great next year. Um, I'll be doing a 2021 shave, maybe Sunday. All right. Let's do a lather whip. Some sink water in there. A little bit more water. All right. A little bit too much water. All right. Let's do it.
Mm. Mm. Clear lips. It's definitely a mess of your lather with, but so much fun that why not? So I know that Holy Black, it's a, um, you know, when you try to scrub it out, of course it gets, but as you can see with the lather whip, there's just so much lather, I just don't even know what to do with it. So let's use it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That wasn't too messy. I had a little bit, probably a little too much water than I, I needed. Sometimes you'll see a big old blob come out, but, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. And you know, once you guys, you know, as soon as you get that, it's like, I think starting the lather whip for me was the hardest part. Just like getting the momentum and getting that cadence and rhythm. It's really what it is. It's like a, it's like a military cadence almost. So I've, I've been told that you can hear like a, if you fast forward it, you can sometimes hear a drum roll out of it. Whoa. I just dropped three hundred dollar shades, and they didn't break. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade my shade game, man. They're getting kind of frayed right there. I don't know why. Let's call them up and say, dudes, three hundred fifty dollar shades should do that. Let's get rid of the Mary. Ah, oh. gonna have a good shave. It's been an awesome year for shaving. <laughs> um. It's been a horrendous year for uh, Star Peoples in general, and so um, fortunately the gear, like you know, all the gear you see here, it really, really helped me deal with you know the summertime and then um, the peak of the uh, pandemic and all that kind of stuff. So um, at least I think we're okay. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, this gear, I just want to thank the artisans out there. I want to thank all the artisans, really. And this, this is what this video is. This, this video is for the artisans mainly because you guys are the ones that take the risk to make all this stuff. You guys take the risk making it. You guys take the risk marketing it. You guys take the risk. Is that a cool shot? All right, cool. All right. And I just appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here you go. First use, Roger Quinn Gem, and this is uh, 3D printed. This is in a polylactic acid, which is essentially corn plastic. All right. Uh, let's clean up the net. All right. Mm hmm Again. These aren't your normal shavers. There is a difference in angle. Um, but it does shave. Yeah, it shaves. I'm gonna tighten that up. All right, let's go. This is really interesting to me because um, I was looking at. Um, let's see, where's that other? I got that his uh, other design, the um, SE design, and I was actually thinking that. It looks a lot like a, um, looks a lot like a, a travel razor, you know, like, like a big plastic travel razor. And so, um, I was beginning to wonder like, well, at what point will these 3d printed designs and this, and this, um, this model of, of, uh, making essentially like it might be possible to actually make a big razor, you know, which is really crazy. So, I don't know, it'd be really crazy if, like, um, you know, the FAA had to, or whatever, the, uh, the flight organization had to revise its rules to include 3D printed gear, which would be really crazy. So, I doubt it's going to happen anytime soon, but... This thing cuts and it feels like a... kind of has a feel of one of those... Um, Bix or something like that, one of the thicker plastic ones, like the, maybe the Gillette Fusions or something like that. It's just really cool, man. Look at that. I've never seen a razor like that ever. Roger Quinn, awesome design, man. Seriously, what a cool design. And this cartridge only really fits halfway like in. It just kind of, it kind of rests halfway in like that. Maybe a little bit more. 
I don't know. Very, very cool. Right. I did nick myself. I'm also pushing down pretty hard. Mm. Let's go and see what's right now. I gotta, with Nick's, I usually get on them. Alright. There we go. Sometimes you don't know how hard to press down on these new blades. The gems are a lot thicker. There's that cream. All right, let me get on with this, guys. I know your time is precious. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, it actually cuts. Crazy. It actually cuts, Roger. Very cool. Where are we at? 16? All right. This is going to be a one pass shave, guys. All right. I always do a long pass like that because um, it just sounds cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It is shaving. Crazy. Mmm. There it is. Crazy. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I've got a few nicks. There's a deep one right there, but it's on me, man. That's what happens when you test, when you test stuff for the first time, you just don't know. You guys see tests for the first time. This is a first time test. Ah, yeah. That's it. That is it. Took it off. Clean off. Mm. Nice. All right, let me just do a couple of uh, clean up passes and then we'll go from there. Oh. I have shape come on my back, don't I? Oh, man. I guess it's just a consequence of the whip. All right, let's clean up this mirror. So, yeah, so um, uh, I just love this almond biscotti. There's plenty of post-residual slickness for a couple of cleanup passes, which is what I'll do now. Use some touch ups. Right, right. Nice. Very cool. There it is, guys. Throw on some salt really quick. I know there's some nicks. This one's a sharp ass blade, I'm telling you that. Mm. Luxurious shave yet again. Appreciate you all stopping by. Oh, one hell of a year, man. This is it, guys. One hell of a year. Almost over. All right. Cool. Put that back. I'm actually going to dry this off real quick. I like to dry off the stip dick because if you don't dry off the stip dick, the water eats into the pen. Um, so. Yeah, just like to save that. Like that, stick around. All right, where are we at? Okay, so letting the salt dry on my face. 
Star of the show, there's many of them today. Roger Quinn's three-piece, 3D printed, cool gem razor with the cool cartridge that goes into the head. Really cool, again, this is a twist off. The twist off locks the cartridge into place. Very, very cool. We'll get into this more next year. Yep, so put that right there. All right, let's rinse off the salt. Come, this also comes with two caps. You can print them off as you need them, if you need them, once you figure out your angle. Very, very cool. All right, let's rinse the, yeah, I got one deep cut right here. Ah, there it is. I think I just actually, um, I think I just uh, cut off a zit. Just saying, still get zits. Still get zits, all right. Let's go ahead and rinse the face. Hmm. All right. Oh, we were back in business. That gem was a beast. Cut like a beast. It's really, really cool. All right, 21. Let's go to 25. Make a 25 minute video. Let's see. All right, where are we at? Sometimes the soap burns my lips. Mm. Okay, we got one cut on this seal. And then we are going to go ahead and go in with, oh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do this Executive Man Aftershave Sample. This is a 0.5 mil sample. And I just love these little tiny sample bottles. Um, there is enough aftershave in here, I would say, for maybe 10 shaves. So this is probably the route I'll go with Sterling, the two ounce or maybe the, the, point, the 0.5 mil. Very, very cool. Mm. And you guys know this, but that executive man is a dupe of Creed Aventus. So I've been getting into frags. I definitely got into frags this year, and I, I definitely know a lot more about frags. You know, I like to do about 20 drops. Go in the out. Go in the out. Mm. I do 20 drops in the out. I'll do Whoa, I'll do about 20 drops in the end. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, man. Mm. Whew. Oh. All right, sealed up the awesome shave. A little bit of nix. That's all right. All right, I wanted to show you guys this. So this year was monumental for me for many reasons, but one of them was because I met this fellow by the name of George Zaharoff, and you guys know him, he's a frag fellow. Very, very, very cool, very, very, very kind, gave me all this wonderful gear, you see it all the time. I'm going to leave the link below to his site. He has a $25 aftershave lotion in this, it's either the Noir, the Noir or the Royale, I think it's in one of, one of both, so I'm going to get that. I just didn't get it in time, so, but this right here I wanted to show you. You got these frags. Here it is. Thank you, Reed. Appreciate you, George. And George, you don't know what this means to me this year. Very cool guy. I usually use a second. so dry that you need a second hit. Oh. This is some good stuff. This is uh, oh. another cool artist. This is Zingari. It's just 
just awesome. Awesome people. Awesome shaves. And they made my year just better. Guys, I want to thank you for all your support and likes and subscriptions and let's have a better year, man. Let's have a better year. This stuff's good too. Yep. Let's have a better year, guys. I'm gonna go get a refill and uh, have a good day. Guys, Shave Kib out.